Now to expensive medical costs, something we can all relate to right now in the U.S. Many Idahoans have sky-high premiums and deductibles making for huge out-of-pocket costs for care. And because of that, some patients are turning to another option, one that not everyone knows is out there. Seven Investigates, Morgan Boydston, dug into paying bills with cash versus using insurance. She's here with what she discovered. Morgan. Some people with high deductibles are finding it's better to pay their medical bills with cash or card instead of using insurance. Now we're not encouraging you to toss your insurance, but we do want you to be aware of your options and know that if you ask a couple questions, it could save you hundreds. And I want to be totally transparent. Insurance companies and providers do not make this easy to figure out. So we're just skimming the surface. Oh, what's going on there? It was funny on this trip. Oh, that was her birthday, and they brought her that stuff. Yeah. That was, she loved that. When their daughter's doctor said she needed x-rays for her back. I okay. automatically was like, done. It's my kid. Like, there's no question. Crystal Hurst didn't think twice. I was just, of let's course. get in the yeah. car and go. Absolutely. She called her husband, Tyler, to let him know she was going to drop by St. Luke's. I just Googled Boise cheap x-rays, and I called the doctor, and they said, actually, you can get them anywhere you want. So they settled on Imaging Center of Idaho, where they found online costs were much cheaper. X-ray, $55. Not only was it a bargain, but they offered an incentive. He did four of them, right? He took four different images, yeah. Crystal says they told her, if you pay cash right here, right now, and don't go through insurance, you'll pay even less. If you paid in full today, like no payments or anything, it's $55, but if they build it through the insurance, it's $228. It's messed up. The Hearst deductible is sky high, and their plan doesn't cover x-rays at all before hitting it. So self-paying up front made more sense for them. Where's the disconnect? Like, what's, what's going on that there's such a big price gap in what we're paying as consumers if we pay cash versus what an insurance company is paying? Let's get to the MRI for you. Rob Forster. This is a really up close look of a side profile. Also discovered he had options. You could just see the ends where they're just frayed. A doctor told him he might have torn his Achilles skiing at Tamarack. He did tons of research before getting an MRI, doctor's order. Eventually, I settled on a provider. Interestingly enough, they give an 89% discount if I don't have insurance. Uh, brings the cost of the MRI down substantially. It was going to total out at about uh, 340 With the discount. And that's an incentive for me to not have insurance. Forster says West Valley Medical Center was going to bill his insurance much more. If it was billed through insurance, it was $1,309. And his out-of-pocket was far more than paying cash up front. It was also far more expensive than a uh, competing provider that lists their cash price on their website. West Valley refers to it as their uninsured discount, and it ranges between 45 and 89 percent. So I got the cash discount only because they didn't know about my insurance. The MRI showed he needed surgery. At that point, he fessed up that he had coverage, knowing he'd hit his deductible and out-of-pocket max. Insurance for me is really only valuable for what happened here, something major. In some cases, cash discounts or self-pay prices can be less of a hit to your wallet than negotiated insurance rates before meeting your deductible. This really just applies to common outpatient tests, procedures, and images. And of course, it all depends on your policy. The caveat, typically you can only get the cash or self-pay price if you don't loop in your insurance. Many providers only offer it if you're uninsured or like Rob, don't disclose you have insurance which is legal. But no, cash payments that aren't submitted to your insurance will not be applied towards your deductible, rendering you vulnerable should anything major or catastrophic happen. At St. Luke's, discounts for uninsured patients are 30%. They say that's generally right around what you'd pay going through insurance. That's also the case at St. Alphonsus. But depending on contracts with payers, they say you could pay less or more than their uninsured discount. At Saltzer Medical Group, cash discounts are 25% across the board, also comparable to negotiated insurance prices. The biggest reasons that we see discounted prices in cash pay is because as an institution, we get paid earlier 
and we get paid more and we can put those monies to work better and more effectively. Dr. Brian Affleck says Saltzer does allow insured patients to get the cash discount. There's no reason that we wouldn't mm -hmm. because it's good for if it's good for the patient and it's good for us. That's when we we're on the sea, yeah, seawall in Vancouver. To get a discount like Forrester and the Hearsts, you got to do the ask. It's up to you to ask billing departments or hospitals financial consultants about a discounted price, especially if you have a high deductible. If I'm not going to hit the high deductible and get some benefit as a result of hitting my deductible, then I really want to shop around and make sure I contain my costs. Anywhere you go in the world and buy something, you know the price before you pay for it, except for healthcare.